With regards to the battery disconnect switch, um, basically this is this is shutting off any power that is coming um, that the battery would run through the the converter. Um, so having a closer look at this, this is all your 12 volt fuses um, and your shore, uh, sorry, your house breakers. So if you're out dry camping, and let's assume you don't have an inverter, um, basically your 120 volt side isn't working. It's only your, your 12 volt side. Um, so rule of thumb with the, the battery disconnect on all the time, except when it's in storage. So when I flick it on, see we've got some uh, lights come on. Uh, basically everything now virtually works in the trailer except your 120 volt outlets. Um, the air conditioner won't work, um, but let's say your fridge, you'll run that on propane. Um, microwave won't work. Um, some of those, those features, if you wanted those, that's where you would opt for the inverter option or if you have a generator. Um, so anyways, uh, let's assume you put this away for winter, you leave this on, your propane detector is hardwired in. Um, it's a very small draw, but over time it'll, it'll drain your batteries down. Um, um, so you can just see basically it shuts off the power from the battery. But if I back up, we want to show you too, the inverter is not part of the shutoff switch. Um, we don't want to try and shut these off. Um, so you make sure you shut the inverter off. We, we stress that um, off every time you're not using it. So that same thing with the solar, it's always charging. There is no shut off for the solar panel. Uh, it's always charging, but don't rely on it over the winter. If it snows and covers that, well now your, your parasitic draws are going to overcome the battery. Uh, and or if you put a cover on the trailer or put it in your garage, uh, always make sure you shut the, the disconnect off. Um, so that's the, the 12 volt side of it.